Paris today and I am shooting this video with for you all and this is actually my first international trip abroad and I have chosen Paris the city of light to be the first country that I visit as it has been my long time dream to come here and shoot some amazing content and videos for you all. So today we will be touring the Arc de Trump. We will also be going to the Louvre Museum and the Seine River. And afterwards we'll be visiting the Eiffel Tower with an illumination tour. So in this video, I will be covering all these places with you all. And as an amateur vlogger, I request you to be kind and to be nice to the new kid in the blog and to appreciate the amateur videography. So guys, stay tuned for this amazing journey, for this amazing trip, because I was super excited about this and I want to pass on the positive energy and the positive vibes to my subscribers and to my channel and for you all to get a glimpse of the real time uh, challenges and the real time positive things that we faced in Paris while we were here. In case you want to plan your own trip, of course, some of the tips that I will be giving you would be extremely useful. Okay, so we are going to begin our descent towards Helsinki, which is a city in Finland. And we can see from the airplane window that it's a very beautiful city, which is very, very organized at right angles so the houses are placed perpendicular to the roads and the roads are perpendicular to the parks so that is the organization of the city that we can see from the plane and as we descend downwards we also notice that the building structures are pretty cool because there are no skyscrapers instead we have buildings that are just one or two floors now we begin our landing journey we arrived at helsinki airport in finland and it's such a beautiful space Okay, so we finally landed here and at Helsinki airport, we can see that it's an amazing airport and since I have an unhealthy obsession with airports, I'm going to film this one to the core because yes, so in Helsinki, we saw a lot of famous brands like Bose and Mont Blanc. We also saw some more fancier places. After that, we came across Nordic Kitchen and we also came across Jamie's Italian, the two places which actually served us with some vegetarian pizza so we were pretty happy to see these two and we also spotted burger king uh, where you can get a decent meal for just 11 euros personally i was very happy and i was very satisfied with the helsinki airport because it was very very cheap when it came to perfumes and chocolates if you go at the right shop you will get a discount up to 50 percent where you can buy two 500 gram chocolates for 10 euros and a Versace perfume for just 18 euros. Hey guys, so I finally landed in the Paris airport and this is my first international trip abroad and because it's my first trip, I wanted it to be very special and I wanted it to be the country of my choice, the city of my choice and so here we are. As soon as we step outside the plane and we enter the Paris airport, we see that the Paris airport is in all the shades of red and pink. Whereas the Nordic airports were brown and black, the Parisian airport, which is Charles, Charles de Gaulle, which also happens to be the largest one in Paris, is very, very pink and very, very red. The outskirts and the outside of the airport is also tiled. And as we begin and as we move and we sit in our coach from the Parisian airport, we see that the city is completely illuminated with different strands of traffic and different road and rail networks connecting at all levels. So we see that the flyovers, there are multiple flyovers and multiple bridges as we move and the city is completely illuminated from the CDG airport. So it's one of the biggest airports in Paris. It's also the most crowded and it's also one of the best airports in the world. And as we move outside, we see that on the top, we have different layovers. We have the rail network, we have the metro network. We also have multiple flyovers for taking transport from point A to point B. So as we move on on this journey, we notice all these complex differences. 
and of course we see multiple lights which are gleaming so we know that it's not meaningless when they say that paris is the city of lights because paris was truly illuminated at night in the coach we were also given the direction by our organizer that we have to be careful and we have to be very very careful not to oppress any culture and we have to steer away steer clear of all trouble because paris is known for the french revolution and the people here know their rights and they can be a little tricky to handle in case you accidentally oppress something or you say something that you didn't mean to so we were told to be extra cautious as we moved along the city and of course from this point which is the paris airport which is crowded um but very very it's a very very beautiful and scenic journey as we drive we moved on to our dinner place where we were supposed to have our food and yes so it's going to be a little longer this video because i wanted to show you exactly how uh, it feels to step outside cdg and as we move along and as the coach driver drives a little faster the streets completely change and we see that the part of the city that was illuminated which was right outside the airport is slowly uh, becoming darker and it's slowly becoming less complex to navigate the traffic and we finally entered the indian restaurant where we were supposed to have our food and it was a very beautiful place which had options like palak paneer a buffet and some variants in chicken as well so we had a filling filling meal and we decided to enter the golden tulip and enter our room which was very very beautiful and very very compact it had a bath uh, bath thing it had a kettle it had some water it had you know nice cafe tea and coffee options space to keep our luggage a mirror a tv a few lamps so there are no tube lights or overhead uh, lights there are just lamps so our room had like 3 4 lamps and it was pretty dark and there was a view outside which we couldn't see properly thanks to the reflection of the light We are going to run around this space and look for some parks and see what Paris looks like early in the morning. So we are super excited for this journey. Paris looks like early in the morning. It is like 6:30 a.m. here. We are of course all dressed up and we are trying to explore some of the streets which are near to our hotel. And it looks so 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 quiet. And even though it is just 6:30 here, it looks like it's the middle of the night. because uh maybe it's due to the winters but it might also be because paris has an late sunrise and a late sunset so during winters apparently the sunset will happen around 10:30 at night so of course the mornings are a little little late yes this is the hotel what it looks like from the outside is this and you have this road which is right here and it seems like my wifi has connected again and this is what their bus stands look like i'm assuming this is like a bus stand it's really cute and i can understand french so you have this you have information for tourists which is like available 24 hours yeah And just FYI, in Paris, this is still seven five in the morning. You enter the hotel. This is the this is the room rate, which is a lot, according to Indian. This is some seating space. Again, a lot of seating space, outdoor space. Yeah. And that is my mom. Mom say hi. Hi beta. Yeah. 
and of course after the walk we got ready and we decided to go for our morning breakfast which was extremely delicious there was a buffet there was a variety of cheese and the view outside our table was absolutely amazing i would give this a 10 on 10 what is this swastika Table, you can play football on this. Welcome to Paris. You have all their games, but you have the Sinidia as well, so it's not such a big deal. Okay. Yeah. So where are you going now? We are going to Arc de Trove, then we are going to Louvre Museum, then we're going to Seine River, and after that we're going to the Eiffel Tower. Okay, then it's a good day for you. And so we begin our journey from our hotel, which is Golden Tulip, to the Paris city center. And as we move along from the suburbs to the main city, we see an increase in the inflow of cars and we see the traffic has slowed down because the traffic has increased, but the space between the cars is equal. Afterwards, we also spot an electric car charging station where we see cars getting charged electrically, which is something we don't have in India as of now. Approximately. Which stadium is this? Stade de France. Stade de France. So like what kind of sports? Football, football. Football, okay. Is this like the international stadium? Where international it... stadium, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, World Cup of this. Got it. And jo aur us time yeah, par yahan par hona bhi nahi chahiye, especially jab... As we move along, we further see that Paris has an extremely cool rail network. We also spotted the Euro rail. So we have the road network and underneath the road, we have the railways. And in the Euro rail, it's like if you buy a ticket of 25, 20, 30,000 for seven days, you can travel across Europe from France to any country or from any country to some other country in the European Union. And it's going to be free of cost after you've purchased the initial ticket. And we had the opportunity of seeing the beautiful crossover between the two networks and the fastest moving rails and the slow moving Parisian traffic. हाउसमैन तो ये हाउसमैन स्टाइल है ये
अच्छी डिजाइनिंग है कि हर एरिया एक ट्रायंगल So this is the river sense. इसका नाम था रेवोल्यूशन स्क्वायर क्योंकि फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन यहां से शुरू हुआ 1789 में और उस वक्त यहां पे या लेफ्ट और उस वक्त यहां पे एक गिलेटन इंस्टॉल था यू नो गिलेटन मतलब जहां पे लोगों का लाके सिर काट दिया जाता था सिर चॉप ऑफ कर देते थे जो भी अगेंस्ट जाता था रेवोल्यूशन के वो उनको यहां लाके पब्लिकली बीहेड कर दिया जाता था 2 साल के अंदर अंदर 2000 से ज्यादा लोगों का यहां सर काटा गया including उस समय के जो king थे Louis XVI king और उनकी wife मारी on the death queen को of course बाद में you know they did not want to remember इतना मार काट हुआ तो उन्होंने गिलेटन हटाया और revolution square का नाम change करके concord square रखा और फिर beautify करने के लिए जो बीच में obelisk so this is the Church of France and it has 52 pillars to symbolize 52 weeks. So France used to be a very very Christian country but today the things have changed and only 1% Christians live in France and France has become a very very secular state that is not rooted in tradition and does not have roots in religion. So what it used to be traditionally today the France the country we see is exactly the opposite of that. यह है फ्रांस को ये जो उनके एंशियन टेंपल्स हैं लक्जर में वहाँ से निकाला गया है और यहाँ लाके इंस्टॉल किया गया है आल्सो तो एडेड दिस फाउंटेन्स फॉर फॉर क्यूज चाहे वो आइफल क्यो चाहे म्यूजियम क्यो चाहे बेडरी क्यो चाहे टॉयलेट क्यो after that, we begin our walking tour towards the Louvre Museum and this is the entrance. This is how we enter the Louvre Museum and right in front of the Louvre Museum, we have the Jordan, the Tuileries and this is when the tour begins. In order, if you want to know some more details and some more facts about the Louvre Museum that I could not possibly cover in this video, don't forget to check out the description of the video if you want to know more things about the Arc de Triomphe, the Freedom Square, the Louvre Museum and other such amazing stuff. Hi guys, we are at the Louvre Museum and you can see it is such a beautiful place. Right in front of the Louvre Museum, there is a glass pyramid which is there as well, which is equally beautiful. This museum hosts the painting Mona Lisa which has been a cause of great mystery because the painting has was painted, it was the first painting which became so prominent and so famous which was actually painted by, painted off a commoner. The paintings before the Mona Lisa were always painted of great princes, their battles, their histories and their stories. But it was the Mona Lisa for the first time which was painted of a commoner. So it was and it had absolutely no class divide. And so that is one of the reasons it became famous. So the beautiful Louvre Museum which I have dreamt of coming is here and right under the floors we have multiple floors which host different markets like your which host different markets and different eating stores like McDonald's and other such places. Opposite the Louvre we have the Jardin, the Tuileries, which is the garden of the Tuileries. Mom, you can get inside. 
the entire garden which is there and this is the shorde the tulari which is how you pronounce it in pari in prosi So the Louvre Museum is also called the most visited museum of the year and due to this very reason they have changed the entrance and they have put a beautiful grey pyramid um to make and beautify the entrance more though personally I think it looks even better without the pyramid so a very funny incident happened with us here we were standing here and just this black guy you see with the umbrella just stopped suddenly and asked us and started saying modi 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 and asked us to buy the umbrellas and he said that india modi india narendra modi and he said sasta 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 and he asked us to buy the umbrellas we thought this inc- incident with the black guy was really funny because how the blacks recognize indians in paris is by shouting narendra modi narendra modi narendra modi so clearly the bjp government has done a pretty good job in foreign relations because how the french recognize indians is by either saying sasta 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 or modi 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 so yes this was the funniest incident that we had in paris Okay afterwards we had 1 hour to look at things in our own and explore so we decided to start walking towards and try to figure out what is underneath the Louvre museum so we decided to take a walk into the carousel which has a lot of shops and escalators that take us 3 to 4 levels under the Louvre museum earlier it used to be something else but today it is something else and slowly we begin our walk from the louvre museum towards the bottom and you can see there is a lot of crowd there are a lot of kids and all of these kids are walking uh, towards le carousel de louvre the carousel of louvre which is going to be underneath the louvre museum and we take our escalator which is the first escalator and we start walking downstairs so this is the walk and this is what the terrace looks like and it's pretty creative and you can see everywhere they've made the 3d's of the pyramid which is at the louvre and the first floor seems to have some restaurants and Yes, the second floor seems to have some other stuff. as we start walking uh, downwards while the first floor has a restaurant uh, the carousel in the carousel the second floor seems to have a reception and seems to also have some souvenir shopping stores where you can shop from and buy some cool stuff or cool things for your family and the overall look of the carousel is as modern as the look of the um, Louvre is traditional and ancient. Okay so from and after visiting the Louvre we have begun our journey towards visiting the Eiffel Tower and we have of course we are standing in the ticket line and we have booked the tickets for the Eiffel Tower 360 degree view for the first and the second floor we didn't decide we decided to not go up to the third floor because um it was a little blurry and it was foggy so it would not make a lot of sense and we would feel cold right at the bottom of the eiffel tower there's this beautiful park with a beautiful lake and 
a lot of beautiful tourists and as soon as you stand under the eiffel tower you see this gigantic metallic structure which is brown in color but which is monumental in history and again we are on our way to get the tickets and you can see how the entire walls surrounding the eiffel tower are you know covered with names and quotes about love um and other cool stuff and uh, now we of course stepped into the lift and we have come to the second floor because we booked a second floor view and this is what the inside looks like as soon as we step uh, outside the lift and once we look at the outside view from the eiffel tower it is indeed very very beautiful because you can see there's a lot of uniformity in the structures in the buildings of paris you can see there are no skyscrapers there is just gray and white terraces and it's a very uniform city which is very very beautiful and has a lot of greenery and it has been preserved for ages the french people have done a wonderful job at preserving the city initially they tried and they decided to put one skyscraper near the museum of invalids but the skyscraper and there it is the gray structure it looked so ugly that um, they decided not to have any skyscra- skyscrapers in the city or to have or to delineate a certain space which would then have skyscrapers so that is often called the middle finger of paris and often it strikes out and looks exactly like the middle finger because it's so ugly and it's just standing out in comparison to the beautiful city which has been preserved for its heritage for its beauty for the limestone walls and the beautiful nature that has been kept safe for us humans of course the aqi in paris was is extremely good in comparison to delhi so you know uh, from the top of the eiffel tower you were not only able to have a beautiful view of the city but also breathe in delicious air okay now again we are taking a look at the different rivers that pass through paris uh, i believe that is river seine and uh, as we walk we see more and more views that conform <coughs> to the story of paris a city which has with the limestone walls have been held together for centuries a city which has preserved its legacy and of course its heritage so let's take an inside view of what it feels like to be on the second floor we have a lot of stores which are selling cool stuff i found a very beautiful perfume for 16 euros that i didn't buy i wanted to because paris is famous for its perfumes and its cheese so if you're going there you should definitely buy that and of course we bought some key rings we bought some eiffel towers to you know give it to our friends but this is the inside view of what the shops and the stores look like on the second floor and you have a lot of souvenirs you can buy but i would recommend buy the perfumes because the perfumes are of very very good quality and are special to paris so we also have some restaurants we have a lot of parisians who are just minding their own business the entire place is very very squeaky clean there's no dirt and yep uh, the people are also very polite and very gentle um this this is another vending machine and these are the beautiful souvenirs i wanted to buy all of them but of course i ran out of money so it's a 3d studio
and after the 3d studio we have you know a restaurant where people are buying coffee and tea and it's all for 680 euro and this is the two and a half uh, floor of paris and you can just look at the view so we begin our Sen river cruise and as you begin we saw a lot of small ships placed which were restaurants along the side as we moved on we noticed a lot of architectural marvels we noticed the notre dame church which had recently burned down we crossed the entire city and we saw a lot of cool parisian architecture this was the spot where the view was the most beautiful the sea was the river was the deepest shade of blue and it was also the last turning point in our cruise the cruise was of course more than an hour long but this was the snapshot that i could so this is where we went to have a parisian dinner we had an indian dinner and the space was absolutely beautiful so of course we had naan raita chawal some paneer dishes 